to exist pretty much, and these investments should be careful about what sort of society they support, and like especially for Vassar, mm -hmm. which is a very mm -hmm. socially minded school. And so I thought that was really interesting to kind of dive in and see what Vassar's in investments for our endowment are actually involved in. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, we found out it's kind of both. They're invested in both fossil fuels and renewable energy, which mm -hmm. is a contradiction. So it's interesting to look at and kind of mm -hmm. shed light on what's going on. Yeah, for sure. Um, I was wondering, so you mentioned there's a, there's something, obviously the issues that arise in this piece are very institutional and they mm -hmm. come a lot from like what Vassar as an institution can do, yeah. but you quoted um, some activists and some members of SEED, I think, mm -hmm. from Vassar SEED, yeah. um, who also mentioned that there's a big role for individuals to play. Definitely. So I was wondering what you think individual readers could do, taking away from this article, possibly um, after reading it. Definitely. I think one of the goals of this article was just to get people thinking and aware of what's going on. I think being aware is a very important issue. Um, I'm sure participating in Seed or Vassar Green is a great way to get involved. And just when um, one of the people interviewed was like, recycling, <laughs> always, that's always a good thing to do. Yeah, absolutely.